Hi! In this tutorial, I'll walk you through everything you need to know. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. Let me show you how to use Microsoft to do effectively, to stay productive, reduce stress, and accomplish everything you need. Let's look at how you can set up your space in Microsoft To Do and create a clean structure for work and personal. To create new group in To Do, let's click Create Group button and name it Work. We'll also create a group for personal. Groups are folders that separate big areas like work and personal, while lists are projects or themes inside those groups. Each list holds a clear verb-first tasks you can actually do today. Now that we've created a group for work, let's create our first list inside work. I'll click New List button and name my list Exec Updates. Once list is created, all I need to do is just to drag it into work group. Inside the list, I can create tasks. My first task is Draft CEO Weekly Update. And then I'll just add other tasks relevant to this category. Inside each task, you can add additional steps, add it to My Day, set up a reminder, add a due date, repeat, pick a category, or attach files. Let me set up a second list for personal admin tasks and put it inside personal group. I know that paying utilities and saving receipts are very important for me today, so I'll mark it as important and add it to My Day, so it shows up in My Day and important tasks. In just few clicks, we created a simple structure that's easy to maintain, so every new task has a home and you don't overthink where to put it. Let me share with you how to plan your week using one of the coolest features of Microsoft To Do, which is called Plan Smart List. Planning ahead of time allows you to turn your list into a realistic week plan you can actually finish. I'm working on my exec updates list, which is in the work group. It has five tasks. To make each task actionable, let's add a due date for every task. To do this, let's click on the task and then select Add a due date. As soon as we add the due date, you see that all five tasks are now appearing in the planned list. And they're grouped by timeline. You see one task is due tomorrow, two tasks are due on Wednesday, and remaining two tasks show up in the later category. If you know exactly when you're planning to start to work on the task, you can nudge yourself with the start time. Click on the task and select Remind Me, and then you select the date and time when Reminder will appear. You can also mark routine tasks as auto reappear using Repeat feature in Microsoft To Do. To accomplish this, select the task, click on the repeat, and select the repeat sequence daily, weekdays, weekly, monthly, yearly, or select a custom one. You can also add steps to the task so you can stop thinking and start doing. To add steps to the task, select the task, click Add Step, and in the Add Step section, you can start adding additional tasks required. As you can see, I've added pull highlights from KPI card, add risks and mitigation, and prove an expert to PDF. In just a few steps, I plan my whole week using the planned smart list, and the rest of the week stops surprising me.